Today's devotion is called Gift Givers. You know, it's that time of the year where everybody's thinking about gifts, and often it becomes a burden because we're given out of obligation. And we're meaning what we're losing with the true meaning of Christmas, which of course we as Christians understand is Jesus the Christ, the ultimate gift, the greatest gift. But we don't have to lose the true meaning of season. We don't have to get caught up in the rat race of running and giving gifts and, and finding the right gift for the right person, all that. It can actually still be special just as it is. When you, when you take the life of St. Nick, his story. See, I've been at that place before where as a Christian, I felt, you know, I need to do away with all these traditions and, and just, um, just keep Christ as the center. Well, Christ still can be the center, even with the traditions. The traditions don't have to be bad. Again, take, for example, St. Nick. St. Nick, long time ago, which is the modern day St. Santa Claus, St. Nick was in what's now known as modern day Turkey. And he was a bishop and he saw a need. There was these three daughters and their father had been robbed, plummaged by pirates. And they had, and in that time, it was the father's responsibility for their daughters to get married. He had to have a dowry and he didn't have that. And in that time as well, daughters who did not get married were often forced into prostitution. So the bishop had compassion and he had recently been blessed financially. And so he was with an inheritance and so he was able to give to this family in need. He snuck in a bag through the window of gold. So that comes the tradition. The tradition of Santa Claus doesn't have to be bad. Giving gifts can be good. It's symbolic of the ultimate gift, Jesus the Christ. Many of the traditions of Christmas are symbolic of Christ. We don't have to do away with them. We just can reflect on them in a Christ-centered way. Of course, those of the world who do not know Christ are not going to do that. But we who do can still enjoy this holiday. Many people in the world enjoy this holiday. We as Christians should enjoy it the most. But here in 1 Corinthians 12, takes get, take gift giving way deeper. It's good to give a natural gift, but every natural gift only lasts so long. But spiritual gifts is what we're talking about here in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. It says that we have special abilities. Isn't that amazing? That we have been given special abilities. Special abilities to do what? To serve. So really, we've been giving We've been given gifts to give away. Our gifts are not for us. Our gifts are for others. How do we know what those gifts are? Those gifts manifest, the Spirit manifests as we're serving people. And depending upon the present need, that's what gift comes forth from the Holy Spirit. So, to me, that's the best gifts we can give, is spiritual gifts. Some of us don't have much. We don't have much to offer. But if you're in Christ, you do. You have special gifts to give away. Special enablement, enablement from the Holy Spirit. We don't know what those gifts are often because we're not serving. But as we're serving people, those gifts will manifest. What gifts are they? It lists a bunch of them. It says there's the, the word of wisdom, word of knowledge, a gift of faith, a gift of healing, a working of miracles, d discerning tongues, speaking in tongues, supernatural gifts, not just wisdom as we know it, not just knowledge as we know it, receiving things that we could never know ourselves, giving stuff away that we could never give away, helping people in a way that we could never help. It's supernatural enablement. Imagine that. We are awesome. We're really superheroes. We have special abilities. So this season where people are gift giving is good, but it's, there's so much better. And we don't have to wait for a season. It can be always in Christ. We can constantly be giving as long as we're serving, as long as we're helping people. 
We can be the source that the world is looking for. People are hurting in this world. They're in dire need. And we have been enabled by God. God wants to make this world a better place. But he uses you and me. We're the superheroes in this world. We have gifts. So many gifts are being hidden inside of us are not being used. I was just thinking about who could I have share a testimony of how God's been using them supernaturally. And there's very few people that I can even think of. We need to grow in this. As we go into 2020, let that be your heart's desire to grow in the supernatural grace of, of manifesting his spirit. Of making a difference. Hope this devotion has blessed you today. It's the key. We're talking about the issue series. How do we get free from issues? We have the power to free people from the issues through the grace of the Holy Spirit given to us. So God bless you. Hope you enjoyed.